Welcome into Market Movers, I'm Rob Black. Let's take a look at the business and money stories that you need to know. Today's top stories include leftovers. Eat them, don't throw that cash in the trash. A new protein may lead to the cure for baldness. And the video speed trap of the iPad, what investment lessons are there? First off, with food prices high, there's a guilt about waste, but dread for reheating dinner. An average American family spends about $500 to $2,000 each year on food that ends up in the garbage. Think about all the cash that's in the trash. The food we throw away is getting a lot more attention with prices rising. Food is the second largest component in the solid waste stream system of the United States after paper and paper board. Food ends up as largest component in landfills, weighing in at 33 million tons in the year 2010. People, you've got to start equating throwing away food with throwing away cash. So go get a Rubbermaid, Ziploc, or Pyrex container and take lunch to work tomorrow. As that extra $2,000 could fund your whole retirement. Next up, baldness may be caused by a protein in the scalp. Merck and a biotech company called Actelian, ticker symbol A-T-L-N, have found that excess amount of a protein called PGD2 could be found in bald spots. Merck's experimental treatment for facial flushing and Actelian's allergy compound, both in late stage studies, have blocked that protein, and thus men have grown hair from what was a bald spot. About eight of 10 white men experienced some balding before the age of 70. And finally, I recently read a story about the new iPad and how a guy had got it. He started to wirelessly stream March Madness games with just two games viewed. His whole data plan had been burned through. So excited users of the new iPad are finding that there's a drawback for that blazing 4G connection offered by the new device. You burn through your data limits in as little as a day. Now, to keep surfing, you're going to have to pay an extra 10 bucks for every gigabyte above your current $30 plus subscription. With that said, this tells you a big investment theme. Network equipment going to be dominant for a long period of time. So companies like Cisco are not going to go out of business. But it also tells you that there's plays on the AT&T and the Verizons. It's kind of a back door on what's changing America right now. We want more content on our devices. Now, again, Apple's iPad's the obvious play, but it's because we want content on the said devices. With that said, keep thinking about the digital living room and different investments that you might be able to make off of it. So those are the top stories that you need to know. Don't forget, tell friends, come back often. I'm Rob Black from Market Movers, and I'll talk to you soon.